In this video, I'll show you how FarApps Connector works seamlessly with Shopify and NetSuite ERP to bring in relevant order data and send fulfillment info back to the storefront. Let's jump right in. Here's the order confirmation page for Shopify. We want to make sure the customer data is brought in as well as the items sold, the transaction data such as discounts, shipping, taxes, etc., and any other pertinent info you want to bring into NetSuite. We can pull virtually any field from the order confirmation page as long as it's available on their API documentation. Our connectors are pre-built and pre-mapped to the default fields in NetSuite, but we can always create, a, create native and custom mappings, which we'll go over on this demo. A perfect example is this note section. We don't bring that over by default, but we can set it up so it does. You may also want to bring in the tags value. That would be a custom mapping, but we'll go over how to set that up as well. Let's jump into the Far App dashboard where we've connected Shopify and NetSuite to Far App. You would just click on the retrieve button to pull up the order from Shopify. We just enter that order number 1120 and click retrieve. Once we pull that order, we can go in and see the data on the fly before it even hits NetSuite. Just click on that edit button and you, you'll see all the relevant info for the order, such as billing, shipping, transaction values, etc. This is the data that's going to be placed in NetSuite. Here's the order mappings page. As you can see, we were able to retrieve all that order data by default into the proper field without having to set up any mappings. What we are going to do is set up those two mappings for the notes and tag sections. You will first click on the add mapping button on the top right of the screen. You will select the NetSuite field you want the notes to populate into by selecting it from the drop down menu. In this case, we'll make it the memo field. Then we click on the drop down with the fields available from Shopify and select the correct field we want to bring in. In this case, the comments. And that's it. For that custom mapping for the tags value, we would go into the same mapping feature, but this time we would create a custom field for that value to be placed in. So we would select the custom field option from the dropdown and then give it a name, such as cust body tags. This is where the value would be placed in NetSuite. Now we have to find that tags field from Shopify. So we'll select the custom field option again from the dropdown, and then we just enter the order number and click on view field data to see all the values that can be pulled from Shopify. As you can see, it's a very long list, but this goes to show you how flexible Far App is in bringing over the data you need from Shopify into NetSuite. Scrolling down, we see the tags field that has the correct comments, so we'll select that. And that completes the custom mapping. We'll save these settings and you're done. Now let's test this thing to see if everything lines up in NetSuite properly. We'll do a manual sync by clicking on the post order to NetSuite option. Normally you don't have to do this since everything is automated. This is just for testing purposes. So we'll manually push it through. Here's the order syncing and finished. Let's go into the NetSuite dashboard. We just need to enter that same order number and then it will pull it right up. As you can see, the customer info, transaction data, and the item details are all properly in NetSuite. You can also see the comments that were brought in from that note section here, and you can also see the custom mapping that we created for the tags value represented here. Now that the order is in NetSuite, you want to ship the order out and fulfill. So let's say you've done that already. You just click the fulfill button and the tracking details should be populated as shown. Once we save it, we can go back into the Far App dashboard to retrieve that fulfillment data and post to Shopify. We do that by selecting the upload shipment from NetSuite option. Once it's completed, we can go into Shopify to confirm that the tracking details are on the order so that the customer can track their shipment. Finally, now that we've tested this workflow and everything works properly, we can go ahead and actually turn on the sync so that you don't have to manually sync anything. Everything will be automated from here onwards. You have full control over all of your syncs at all times, so it's just a matter of going in and turning on the syncs you want. In this case, we just tested order and fulfillment syncs, so we'll go ahead and turn those on. And that's it. Thanks for watching. When you need NetSuite, who do you call? SCG will take care of it all. The Seabird Consulting Group is Southern California's own oracle. NetSuite, sweet commerce solution provider partner connection. Experience matters. When you need Shopify, who do you call?